So here in the middle, we're going to have a look at how we add Respondus Lockdown Browser to our quiz. So the first thing we'll need to do is actually add Respondus Lockdown Browser to our blocks on the right hand side. If you don't see your blocks when you come to your course, then click on this little arrow and you can see we've got our quick mail, read speaker and completion progress blocks. And we're going to turn on edit mode and then click add block. And from here, we can scroll down our list and we're looking for the Respondus Lockdown Browser block. When we click on this, then you'll see it pop up on the right hand side. And we're going to be adding it to this What are Polo Fundamentals quiz. So to add the lockdown browser, we come into the dashboard for the Respondus Lockdown Browser on the right here. And once we're in here, we can click on the arrow to the left of the quiz. We want to add the lockdown browser to there, come to settings, and we're going to require Respondus Lockdown Browser. And you can see in the advanced settings, for instance, to lock the students into the browser until the exam is completed. So once they're in the exam in Lockdown Browser, they can't come out of that until the quiz or exam time is finished. And then also important things like allowing access to specific external domains. So for instance, if you want to add a reference to a website or external web hosted content, then you can collect those URLs or web addresses and actually allow those web addresses to be viewed. It will open it up in a different tab in Lockdown Browser. You can enable things like the calculator and also printing from the toolbar as well if you want to allow students to print. If you embed PDFs into your quiz for reference, then the students will be able to open those within the quiz. It will open things in another tab as well within the lockdown browser. The proctoring options here, we're going to leave these unchecked, basically mean that you can proctor the exam automatically using the camera on a student's computer. If you have any questions about this, then please do get in touch. So we're going to save this and close it. And you can see now that our water polo fundamentals quiz has lockdown browser required, but not proctoring required. So now if we come back to the course page, we can scroll down, we can come to our water polo fundamentals quiz, and you can see we have a note this quiz has been configured, so students may only attempt it using Respondus Lockdown Browser. If we come up to the top right, and we're going to switch our role to student, then you can see this is what the students will see. So they're going to launch Lockdown Browser, that will take them into the quiz or exam. So importantly, if students are taking quiz using Lockdown Browser for the first time, they'll need to download that and install it before they can actually launch Lockdown Browser. So one important thing is to get students to do a test quiz, so a quiz with no jeopardy, using Lockdown Browser so they can go through the process of installing the Lockdown Browser software before they're actually doing a, an assessed quiz within the Lockdown Browser. If you have any questions about this, then please do get in touch, but that's how to add Lockdown Browser to your quizzes and exams within Moodle.